Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. Yes, it's another, it's another unpackaging. Uh, not lesson three of Learn Guitar with Jules. You're gonna to have to wait for that one, I'm afraid. So why am I doing an unpackaging? Well, of course, Christmas has come and gone, as we know, and uh, the sales, the sales were on, yes. And um, I felt, you know, post-Christmas blues and all that kind of stuff, I thought I'm gonna buy something and I didn't get anything for Christmas, so I thought, why not? And I went on this uh, site, uh, I'll tell you the company uh, in a moment, and there was massive discounts. I mean, there was discounts of up to 120%. Can you imagine that? Um, you buy something and they're giving you money back plus 20%. Amazing. I, I mean, I don't know how they make any money. Anyway, so I thought I'd buy something. And in the end, actually, right, I bought two things. But I'm only going to do an unpackaging of one of them because, you know, I'd have, you know I mean, two things. It makes, it, makes one, it makes me look a bit greedy, doesn't it? it makes me look a bit like Prince Harry. Huh. Uh, anyway. Here is the packaging, right? Now it's plastic packaging. Now, funny enough, the other item that I bought came in uh, cardboard, recyclable packaging. Uh, whereas this is plastic and may not be recyclable. Uh, don't know. Uh, might might contact Greta Thunberg and ask her advice. So let's get on with it quickly. And there's more, there's more plastic. And here it is now. I said I'd tell you the company. And there is a story behind this, by the way. The company is called Vulpine, V-U-L-P-I-N-E. -E. And if you've seen some of my previous videos, you may recall a few years ago, quite a few years ago now, actually, I was quite a big fan of Vulpine. I thought they were a nice little company. I thought they made nice products, mostly out of Merino ball. Uh, they seemed like nice people. And I bought quite a few items from them. Anyway, they started to get bigger and they did a crowdfund. And I thought, well, you know, nice company. I'll put some money in it. And I put a thousand pounds into it. And that, this was at a time actually, when I had a £1,000 spent, which I don't at the moment, incidentally. So I put this money in, and what happened about two weeks later, poof, poof, they went broke, and uh, all my money disappeared down the drain. Now, I was a little bit unhappy about that, as you would be, uh, as a number of people were, but in the end, you know, uh, easy come, easy go, as they say. Anyway, Volpine was then bought by another company. I think it was a cycling company, by the way, and it didn't last very long, and then I think they went broke again, and then it got bought by somebody else who I don't actually know, but it still exists. It's still got a website. You can still buy stuff from it. It's still mostly not entirely made of merino wool. It's still nice stuff and I would actually still recommend it. But they had this sale with massive discounts. Uh, I didn't get any of the 120% off stuff because that had already gone, big surprise, but I did manage to get a couple of items which were about, I don't know, 60 or 70% off, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Now, somebody said to me the other day, would you have bought it if it was full price? And this is the key to stuff in a sale. And the fact is, well, yes, only I couldn't have afforded it. So um, I bought it in the sale. So what is it? Well, let's have a look. A bit of paper there, don't need that. A few labels there. And it is. Do you see that? It's it's a jacket. Can you see that? Now, you're saying to yourself, okay, Julian, so it's a jacket, big fucking deal. Is it a cycling jacket? Is it a non-cycling ja well, jacket? Well, the thing is, it's a sort of jacket that you can wear for cycling. Whether I will wear it for cycling is another matter, because I'm not sure I'm that kind of, you know, that kind of urban, hip, uh, organic, vegan, Shoreditch living, graphic designer, bearded fucking wanker type cyclist. Not that I cast any aspersions on you if you are one of those. Um, so I'm not sure, but I might just wear it. And I might just, I might never wear it, actually. I might leave it in the cupboard along with another of our, number of other jackets which I've bought, which I like, but never wear. Now, the thing is, this jacket is called a Harrington jacket, right? And I was discussing this with my mate Jim, and I mentioned Jim a couple of times, and he often appears in my videos, and he's not always happy about it, so I apologize, Jim. Um, anyway, we were talking about the Harrington jacket, and he said, do you know where the name Harrington comes from? And I say, um, I may not have said this straight away, but I said, it's not Rodney Harrington from Peyton Place i.e. Ryan O'Neill. Do you remember? You have to be of a certain age to remember per, per Peyton Place. 
Anyway, Rodney Harrington was the original name of Del Boy's brother in uh, that programme that I never watched. Everybody think it seems to think it's really funny, only fools and horses. Anyway, his name was Rodney Harrington, and he used to have a jacket which they shortened, they removed the Rodney, and they just called it the Harrington. So it was partly named after Ryan O'Neill in Peyton Place, but you have to be of a certain age, and if you are of another certain age, you will remember uh, Rodney from Only Fools and Horses, and you'll know what the Harrington jacket is. So this is the Harrington jacket, and it is basically, well, it's a jacket, so let's have a look at it. It's uh, dark blue. Uh, would you call that dark blue? I don't know the difference between dark blue and navy blue and indigo and um, what's another word for blue? Um, what's another word for blue? Blue is the colour. That was a, a song about Chelsea, wasn't it? I think, I think, was that David Mellor? Didn't he sing that when he was doing something in Chelsea Strip that he shouldn't have been doing? It's all right, let's have a look. There's a zip on the jacket, it's always useful, and Oh, it's a double zip. So let's have a look inside. They call this fabric Epic Cotton. Now, whether Volpine invented Epic Cotton or whether it's just cotton and they put Epic at the front of it, I have no idea. Anyway, it's supposed to be kind of water resistant. Don't know whether it's actually waterproof. This has got a nice kind of buttony pocket there on the back. Can you see? It's got a... Uh, a flap pocket here on the back, which is, I think, and that attached by a kind of magnetic clasp. Can you see that? It's got, it's got a zippered side pocket, two zippered side pockets. Inside, it's got, uh, it's got a kind of flappy pocket. Can you see that? Bit of a sort of flappy pocket. And what else has it got? Uh, it's got a sewn-in label. Can you see that? They're quite proud of that sewn-in label, uh, which says, what does it say? It says, Volpine. There you are. I can still read, despite it being 2023. Uh, what else has it got? Um, it's hard to describe. Sorry, I'm messing around a bit. Right, composition. Can you see that? It says, I don't know if you can read that. So it's composition. 40% uh, cotton, 30% polyester, 30% EME, Lycra T400 fibre. Do you know what that means? I don't know what it means. Designed in Britain, made in China. Now, all the best things in the world, as you know, are designed in Britain, but made in China. So, what did we design in Britain? Well, obviously, we designed... Um, methods to, to uh, conquer two-thirds of the known uh, uh, globe. We, we did that. That was designed in Britain. Um, we designed the best way to exploit people in other countries so that we could develop our capitalist system. Yep, that was designed in Britain. Um, we also designed uh, the Liz Truss government. Not many people know this. The, the Liz Truss government, one of the best governments that we've ever had, was designed, yes, designed in Britain, no other country can lay claim and say, we designed the Liz Truss government because that was down to us as the British. And it makes me so fucking proud that not only could we design a Liz Truss government, but we could design a government, right, led by Rishi Sunak that seemed on the surface that it would be better than the Liz Truss government until the Emperor's Prada suits fell away and what was left, what was left, boys and girls, but Liz Truss without a Prada suit. Or even, I suppose you could say, Liz Truss sans Truss. Anyway, that's enough of the politics. Let's get back to the jacket. This is the Volpine Harrington Navy Blue Cycling Jacket. And if you wait just a moment for me to adjust the camera, I will put it on and you can see what the man about town looks like wearing this particular jacket. So, here is the jacket and I'm putting it on. I've put my right, uh, you might want to uh, take a note of this because in case you ever buy a jacket yourself and you're not quite sure the best way to wear it. Uh, I put the right arm into the right sleeve and I reach behind me with my left arm 
and I put my left arm into the left sleeve. Do you see how I did that? Now this is ooh, it's a little bit tight. Um, are you one of those people who put on some weight over Christmas? I'm not sure if I am actually. I'm just one of those people that are fat anyway. Um, oh, quite nice. Uh, oh, sure, I like that. Yes. Okay, so the zips. Right. I'm not sure, as I say, I'm cycling. Do you want to see me from the side? Okay. Do you notice the belly? Belly is largely gone. That's a consequence of doing a lot of swifting. Do you want to see me from the rear? I don't know what I look like from the rear, but some people tell me it's quite pleasant. This is me from the left side. Okay, see the belly? Largely gone, not entirely gone. And there is me again from the front. Shall I uh, open it and do a kind of... Well, I shouldn't do that kind of Shall I do this? <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. It's not that kind of video, Brian. Right, you know... You've been searching YouTube, you said, look, I want to find one of those videos where Julian does that thing with his jacket. We go, oh, oh. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. Right. It's not funny. Stop it, Julian. It's not funny. There are young people who could be watching this video because they are interested in buying a Volpine Epic Cotton Harrington jacket named after uh, Rodney from Del Boy. No, not Rodney from Del Boy. Rodney from Only Fools and Horses and Ryan O'Neill from Paint and Place. Anyway, it's a little bit tight, but I think because I'm going to continue losing weight, because I'm doing lots and lots of swifting, and I'm not eating too many of those chocolate truffles from Little, which I happen to devote a bit of a sweet tooth for, and incidentally, Lindor chocolates. Oh, 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 can you beat a Lindor chocolate? No, you cannot, my friends, and they're not paying me to say that. I just like them. So, the... Bullpine uh, top, top fastening up there, so you can... <laughs> ooh, ooh, top. Um, protect yourself from the rain. I think, I think that's quite a nice jacket. Actually, I might go out next week on the town. I might even go to Shoreditch, grow a beard, um, go to a vegan restaurant, wear this jacket and see See whether anybody stops me in the street and says, you know, Julian, we're, we're looking for some we're looking for some older models and you look like you could fit the bill. I used to be a hand model. Did I ever, did I tell, did I ever tell you that? I used to be a hand model. Got a number of hand jobs in my younger days, but unfortunately I don't get them anymore, but that is life. So the Vulpine Harrington jacket in the sale. Don't know if it's still available. Thanks for watching. And oh, sometimes, you know, when you see um, um, a clothing thing, it's... it's describes the model. So, in this case, model wears a large jacket, okay? And that's me. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.